Peter Kelsall. I'm the organist and choir director at Pilgrim Church in Adelaide, South Australia. 2021 was a, an interesting year for us, uh, one with a number of challenges, particularly those thrown up by the uh, ongoing COVID pandemic. But all in all, I think we had a really successful year uh, and uh, the choir rose once again to every challenge that uh, they came up against. Uh, and there were a number of really, really successful services and uh, a lot of new repertoire that we were able to sing at these services. And we're hoping that we're able to continue that in 2022. The Anzac Day Evensong is a service that's become quite an important part uh, of the uh, worship cycle at Pilgrim every year. Uh, and in 2021, we gave what we believe may have been the South Australian premiere of a relatively new work by Jonathan Dove called They Will Rise. This was composed for the 100th anniversary of the RAF and uh, premiered at Westminster Abbey back in 2018. Uh, and as 2021 was the centenary of the RAAF, it was quite uh, an appropriate uh, piece for us to perform at the Evensong service for Anzac Day last year. Our annual service of remembrance uh, is another service that's become quite an important part of what we do at Pilgrim each year. Uh, and in 2021, we performed Foray's Magnificent Requiem uh, to a very full church. Uh, this is the first time at Pilgrim in many years that this work has been performed liturgically. And uh, we hope to be able to perform further Requiem Masses in a liturgical setting uh, into the future. make a point at Pilgrim of keeping in touch with the latest trends, if you like, in contemporary choral music. Uh, obviously contemporary choral music uh, with uh, liturgical performance in mind. Uh, an example of this was uh, at our Advent 4 service on December the 19th, uh, where we sang uh, Eric Eschenwald's Magnificat, which he composed for Merton College, Oxford. Uh, in 2022, we hope to be able to uh, also uh, sing the Nunc Dimittis, uh, which was composed alongside the Magnificat, and to present these are one of our uh, very popular Evensong services. Our Christmas services at Pilgrim are always a highlight for us each year. Uh, we also make a point at these services uh, of uh, singing new music, uh, finding new repertoire. There is so much wonderful new Christmas choral music being composed right around the world at the moment. And a particular highlight at our six o'clock lessons and carol service in 2021 uh, was a performance of a piece by uh, Ole Yelo uh, called Serenity, which is a setting of the well-known Christmas text, O Manuel Mysterium. One of the great features uh, of this piece is the uh, use of a cello solo accompanying the choir, uh, which uh, we were grateful to have Kim Worley, one of our very, very talented choir members, play for us on this occasion. I think one of the attractions for people who come to Pilgrim to the 11 o'clock service, uh, whether it's as a member of the congregation or as a member of the choir, uh, is that we have this commitment to performing these uh, wonderful, wonderful works, both ancient and modern, in a liturgical environment. Uh, and we really feel duty bound, if you like, to maintain this tradition and to give people the opportunity to hear these marvellous works in a liturgical setting.
So looking ahead to this year, uh, as well as our appearances on uh, Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock, uh, we will continue with our Evensong services once again. Uh, there'll be nine regular Evensong services between March and November, as well as our Anzac Day Evensong service. Uh, again, we'll be uh, presenting some new repertoire. One of the new pieces that we uh, hope to be performing in the not too distant future is the setting of the Beatitudes by the Estonian composer Arvo Pert. We've also uh, purchased some new music by Jonathan Dove. Uh, in this instance, it's a setting of his Missa Bravis, which we uh, intend presenting at one of our communion services, regular communion services at 11 a.m. Uh, on the first Sunday of the month. All being well, this year we'll see a return of an orchestral mass for Easter Sunday. So all being well, uh, a Mozart mass will be sung at the 11 a.m. service on Easter Sunday. Uh, we also are continuing our collaboration with the Adelaide Cantata Band. Uh, they'll be presenting uh, some Buxtehude Cantata movements as a part of a service at 5pm on Holy Saturday over the Easter weekend. And uh, also uh, November the 27th, which is Advent 1, uh, they will be performing a cantata once again, a Bach cantata in this instance, as part of the 11am uh, service. For one of our Evensong services uh, this year, uh, we hope to be joined by Sydney organist David Drury, uh, who will be accompanying us all being well as we sing the St Paul service, uh, the Mag and Nunc by Herbert Howes. One of the uh, reasons behind singing this particular piece is that we are intending once again to tour to the UK at the end of this year, COVID permitting. Uh, and this is one of the services that we will be taking with us. Uh, once again, we've lined up a number of uh, wonderful cathedrals to sing in uh, this year, and uh, the highlight will be an appearance at Westminster Abbey. Mm -hmm.